Hello my friends, I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya and today I am in Playa del Carmen, very specifically in the station of the Mayan train in Playa del Carmen where I am about to hop in the train to see what's all about, what is this amazing piece of infrastructure and honestly I don't know why am I so excited because I actually came here on a flying machine but in any case, come with me and let's see what is all this fuss about. So here I am, finally getting ready to be mesmerized by the most recent mega structure being built in Mexico. Which by the way, although everything looks great from the outside, it's clear that there's still some work to be done. And so after my first couple of steps, I gotta say that everything looks very, very neat. Everyone is well dressed, including the tourists. Well, maybe not me, but anyways, uh, everything here is shiny new. Now, in a way, I was expecting to see more people, but at the end, when I came it was not high season and the Tren Maya is still a novelty, meaning that a sufficient amount of regulars to crowd the place is yet to be formed. Also, I noticed that most of the stores are vacant, so don't expect to do much shopping while waiting for the train to come. And finally, the time came to buy my ticket. The lady at the counter was super nice. While I flashed my Mexican ID to get my discount for nationals, or otherwise, the regular price without the overprice for foreigners. Anyways, everything went smoothly, although she asked me for an incredible amount of information, such as my email, my phone number, address, and so on. And because I am worth it and I wanted to leave the experience, I got myself the first class ticket so I could fully enjoy the ride without having to mingle with the working class riffraff. And look at my reflection, I'm a giant! And here I go with my full size ticket! So here I go with my ticket in my hand, making the line, a quick ticket check followed by some directions to find the boarding lane, and here we go! some extra instructions, and finally, here it is, behold the summit of human ingenuity. Tons of iron and other stuff mashed together for the sole purpose of giving you comfort and a speedy ride. And it is time to find my seat. And here I am! But before the train departs, I decided to make a little reconnaissance. They've said so much about the train that I could not wait to check out for myself all of the goodies that are offered. And yeah, it's amazing how everything looks brand new and in mint condition. And check this out, I finally made it to the resto bar cart, where I stumbled with a still unprepared team of whatever is equivalent to flight attendant to a train, two attendants, I presume? I got the pH for the options and in preparation for the trip, I got myself a Diet Coke and headed back to my seat. And just arriving to my seat, such a pleasant surprise, a group of passengers visiting town from the hometown of my ex-wife. I'll leave her phone and address in the description in case you want to say hi. Such a merry group of people enjoying the ride aboard this moving monument to engineering. And after bonding with my new friends, off we go! These are the first meters of my maiden trip aboard the Tren Maya. So exciting! Behold the magnificence of the jungle from the perspective of a giant in motion. I shall keep my coke for later. Look at me, I can hardly hide my excitement! And now, time for a routine ticket check, because the 25 previous times were not enough, it is for our safety and comfort, so bear with it. And look at that, in the back, the diligent crew of two attendants of the first class is readying their delicious selection of snacks and drinks. This, my friends, is privilege. And well, if I would have known, I would not have carried my coke all the way here by myself like the working class would do. So this is it, my friends. 
the beautiful and numbing monotonous succession of light poles chasing themselves against the pristine green of the Mayan jungle. Speed-wise, I can objectively say we won't get any speeding ticket, unless there's a minimum speed. In any case, this is not a means of transportation for rush hour. This is meant to offer a pleasant trip with a nice view and, provided the comfortable seats and the very welcome air conditioner, I must say that this is a really soothing experience. Nonetheless, the arrival of the two attendants is a welcome distraction. Although, no, thank you, miss, I would not like a beverage, I brought my own right from your kitchen, for which, by the way, I paid three times the regular price. And with the beverage served, there's nothing left to do but to rejoin my newly met friends to enjoy this joy ride through the Mayan jungle and to send a heartfelt greeting to all of the people from the lovely city of Comitán, Chiapas. So I stopped harassing these poor people and, well, we're back on track, literally. One thing that I want to say is, uh, although everything is working properly, I cannot escape to that feeling that something is missing. You see construction still being done here and there, and don't get me wrong, the train works marvelously and everything is in place, but this omnipresence of workers and machinery gives you the impression that they might have had opened this region-wide attraction a little bit too soon. And finally, we arrived at Puerto Morelos, a last goodbye to my friends and off I go to this uncharted territory. The train station is empty for the better part, however, I appreciated the initiative of this minimal exposition of some archaeological trinkets that, without much explanation, remind you that this is a land with a lot of history and that, for better or worse, the construction of this mega structure has disrupted some of these sites, but well, that's a subject for another conversation. Right now, I'll just try to find the exit. And back on land I am, ready to explore the mysteries that await for me at the Tren Maya station in Puerto Morelos. My first impression, well, it's hot. Boy, it's hot like in hot hot. Like really, really hot. Did I say hot? And here on the outside, well, really not much to report. Basically uh, an empty parking lot with some construction going on, a small kids area and yeah, a glorious esplanade to salute the Mexican flag and perform some civic duties while dying of patriotic dehydration under the blasting sun. Hiding under a shade? Nah, that's for deserters and enemies of the state. Anyways, it's been enough fun under the sun, time to go back and buy my ticket back. First attempt, no one at sight. I guess it's lunchtime or something. A uh, will be back sign would have been polite, but I'm assuming that they will come back at some point. So here I am, back to the bright exterior. The mobile signal is not the best in sight, and I have some time to kill. So here I go for my second attempt, and uh, well, since I already saw this movie, I can tell you that I got it. But pay close attention to the couple in front of me in the line. They also arrived when there was nobody at the counters, and apparently they were way more concerned than I about getting the ticket back, because they made a real fuss to get their attention, and I mean screaming at the security guard and knocking desperately on the windows. But what can I say? It worked! And honestly, once that they were released of the stress of being stranded in Puerto Morelos, they seemed to be a very nice sweet couple. And so, after the extensive interrogatory once again, I got my ticket back. Just that, this time, I chose coach because, in my honest opinion, having the beverage delivered to your seat when the bar cart is just steps away doesn't seem to justify paying all that overpriced, especially considering that all the seats and everything is the same as it is in the alleged first class. So for the rest, I would say that it's everything I did at the beginning of my trip, only backwards. Some instructions here and there, directions here and there, checking tickets here and there, and not much to add about this really. And my ride is here! Look how original I am recording the arrival of the train! Anyways, time to hop in and head back to Playa del Carmen. So I rushed to take my place amongst the common people in coach, no catering from the two attendants this time, and we begin the ride back. 
And here we go, honestly not much to report, just the same monotonous jungle I saw on my way here, the same construction, the same cheerful workers that greet the passengers while baking under the sun. And so, after about 40 minutes, I arrived back to Playa del Carmen. I rushed out of the half-empty train station and back to the open air and the ocean breeze of the Riviera Maya. So my friends, I literally just came down of my little trip and I would like to give you my first impressions. And I'm gonna say that overall, I think I have a good impression. To begin with, everything works. Everything works as promised. Now, yeah, realistically, there's still a, a, a lot of work to be done. You can see that there's still construction here and there and maybe even the personnel, although they are super attentive and super nice, I think they're still kind of learning the whole trade of the deal here because at the end this is pretty new this is very new but overall again I am gonna say that I am pretty satisfied the the train was nice was super clean was uh, spacious was comfortable uh, the service was excellent and so and I'm talking both in, in the premium uh, in the premium part of the train and also in coach so my friends um, I gotta say that I totally recommend to, to use the Mayan train whenever you have the chance it's a nice experience the view of the jungle is, is pretty fantastic now just something and this is in the spirit of transparency um, okay I realized that my trip was pretty much unnecessary and unpractical but nonetheless it happened that both the stations either here in Playa del Carmen or the other one in Puerto Morelos they are kind of far from downtown both Playa del Carmen and, and Puerto Morelos so there's that little piece of inconvenience that I find that I'm gonna say if you're doing just a short trip I don't know if it's if it's worth it however uh, and this I gotta say as well they do have transportation in place to take you downtown but it yeah it's gonna add an extra trip to your already probably lengthy trip if you're coming from the states or whatever and so that's that's the only thing that i could say uh the services are there but yeah both of the stations both of the stations that i visited i cannot speak for all of the stations in the in the whole network of the mayan train but these two that i visited they're kind of far and i'm suspecting that that is the same case in pretty much all of the other stations but in general i gotta say that i am pretty pretty satisfied my friends and i hope that you enjoyed this little journey with me and to the next one